Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. So let's get a move on and rescue our friends that we abandoned. Think they'll accept our admittance? Surely they will, right? Sit down. Sit down! Why did you leave us? I'm sorry. You were right. I need everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never! So, you've had a change of heart. What a busy guy, coming and going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Garland. Oh yeah, that's right! Amuko followed me all the way from Branbo! Just tell me if you need to rest, Kubo! Alright, now we can work our way out of this depressing castle. Cause we're all together now. We certainly are. So first of all, I'm gonna get rid of Quinna because Quinna is freaking useless. And <sighs> I'm tempted to have Iko in here instead of Dagger. What level is Iko? 31. Well, she definitely needs to catch up. Whereas the others are pretty good, so because I want for them to catch up now before it's too late. I'll keep these two in, Iko and Phoebe. Give me a moment to readjust everyone's equipment. Okay. So now let's talk to this Moogle. And first of all, Magnet. What's Magnet? I've never heard of it, Kubo! Do you want to try Magnet? I need you to deliver mail. I want you to deliver a letter to Mazma. Okay. Thanks, Kubo! I can't believe that he's never even heard of Magnet. And now he apparently loves it. Oh, I love Magnet, Kubo! Okay, uh, so let's go to the Mog Shop. And as usual, I'm gonna do this off-screen, so give me a moment. Okay, so let's return to where Zidane was sitting, because there's actually an item that we can get here. And we received the Holy Mitre, or Mitre. I'm actually not sure how you would even pronounce that. Oh, it's a hat. Wow, that's weird. I thought that it was a weapon. Okay, well, in any case, let's see what it does. Oh, wait, I don't think that he can wear that, can he? Maybe it's something that's only for the women's figures. Okay, so it gives the body temperature skill. And since she's the only one here and can't benefit in terms of any abilities from any of the other hats, I might as well give it to her, even though body temperature really isn't all that great. But whatever. I'll take what I can get. So let's move on, get the heck out of here, and continue on with our adventure. We've got a crap ton of battles waiting for us. Some pretty hard ones at that. But that one was pretty obvious, to be fair. You found a button. Let's press it. Okay. Uh... Okay, I, I can't remember what happens here. I think you're supposed to go into an area where it's between the two lights. Otherwise, you'd get into a boss or a battle like this. So I'll cut this out. Give me a moment. Okay, well, that was a failure. I wonder what happens if we just ignore it. Is there anything hidden back here that I can take advantage of? Okay, I guess not. Let's see what's over here. Okay, it looks like we have to go through this, as unfortunate as that is. So I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to go through an area that has two lights side by side flashing, otherwise you get into a fight. Or at least I... Okay, well that was a freaking failure. Nearly died there. Okay, maybe I have to avoid the lights. I can't even remember this thing. Gross. Okay, let's see if that does it. Yeah, there we go. Well, I guess I'm stupid, but I already knew that, and you guys did too, let's be honest here. Okay, now that we have that out of the way... Hmm, what's this thing? Current altitude heading and standard heading. Uh, 
okay, let's just go with five and see what that does. I don't know what happened. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, it probably has something to do with that thing. Okay, well that makes more sense. Let's climb up and see what happens. Can we even enter it from here? Okay, I guess not. Uh, maybe we have to go up to the fifth level. Oh great, it's a freaking Malboro. Okay, I might have to run from this battle, because these are usually really, really difficult. Uh, so give me a moment. Let's see what happens. And victory is ours. So it turns out that the battle wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. Okay, moving on. Let's see if we can do anything over here. Probably not. Yeah, just as I suspected. Okay, so it looks like we have to operate it so that number two works, so that way we can go up further. Okay, back here I figured that you guys didn't need to see any annoying backtracking. So let's switch this to number two and see what that does. Hopefully that was the correct one. Okay, let's give this a shot. What? Okay, well, I must be stupid. It's probably number one. Give me a moment, everyone. We'll never get anywhere if we keep going back and forth. Looks like we can't go any further. Yeah! We'll handle these controls so you can take the others and wait by the elevator. Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys operate the controls while we head out for that elevator. All right, let's do it. You got the controls, everyone. Okay, well, I guess they're gonna handle it for us. I'm not sure if this was an optional thing or not, but in any case, let's check out the active time event, the elevator. So we'll keep it at one for now, because that is what we're supposed to be doing. So yeah, we'll keep it at one for now and see what happens. Can we access it from here? Okay, we still can't. Maybe it's the other end. It's probably the other end because that's where it's facing. There we go. Okay, now I see. Okay, so moving on, and I'm pretty sure that there's something hidden around here. There has to be. Hmm. Maybe if we go down here. I'm sure that there's something hidden around here. Could have sworn that there was. Or not. I'm just derping around. I really hate being cut off, but I suppose I've complained about that a thousand and one times. Okay, let's go back to the elevator active time event, and let's switch it up to, I believe, number four. Let's see if that does it. Okay, how did this change? Okay, we have to go to the other side over here, of course. Oh Christ, I did not want to do that, actually. I did not want to do that. I wanted that chest, and I'm going to get that chest. I do not care what anyone else has to say about it. I think we have to calibrate it to number three. Give me a moment while I figure this out. So I have calibrated it to number three, and the trick here is to go up twice. Okay, so I had to go back up here, and then it will automatically bring us up to this chest. And what does it contain? 20,007 gil. I say it was worth it. Okay, and now we just calibrate it to number four and move on. So now that we're back up here, let's finish exploring. Okay, well there isn't really much up to explore, so let's just go up one floor. And it looks like we've got yet another type of maze area. Well, that's nice. These things drive me nuts. I guess it's just trial and error from this point onward. I'll meet you guys off-screen when I get to the treasure chests. 
Or not. I got to this one pretty quickly. What does it contain? Battle loots. Although we don't really need that, but we'll take it. Okay, I managed to get to this Mughal, and I haven't gotten to all the chests yet, I know that, but we'll use the Mogden now while we're still here. What do you want to do, Kupo? A letter from Murak? I wonder what about? From Murak to Mazma. Uh, this is my first time using Magnet, and my first letter, Kupo. Hmm, what should I write about, Kupo? What the heck was all that about, Kupo? Well, that was kind of pointless. Does he want anything back? What's Magnet? Good point, what is Magnet? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna use a tent. Give me a moment. Okay, so I tried to screw around to get the chests. I can't seem to find out how to get them. Uh, danger ahead, Kupo! Do you still want to go on? Okay, so before we go to this battle, we should definitely be equipping a bunch of stuff that has wind absorption or wind resistance, so give me a moment. Okay, so after screwing around with everyone's uh, equipment, unfortunately not everybody is able to have wind protection or wind absorption, but I did the best that I could. I think it's only Steiner that's vulnerable to wind. There's the observatory. You told me you'd become my angel of death, but think for a moment. Isn't life death itself? It must kill other life forms to survive. Sometimes it even kills those with whom it shares blood. To give life is to give life meaning. Yet one must take others' lives to survive. A mature civilization becomes aware of this paradox. Terra's souls will sleep until they forget such nonsense. They will begin a new life in a new dimension. It's a world in which life and death become one. That is the dimension in which we are meant to live, as beings that transcend life and death. Zidane, I'll ask you one more time, who are you? You're a sad man, Garland. We know more than you. We're not perfect, but we have friends who help us. That is reason enough for us to live. We live to protect the ones we love. Yeah, derp. I may not really know who I am, derp. But that is why my question alone to answer, and derp. It took us a long time, but we've all found our way. Then show me, lecture me again, when you are on the verge of death. And here we have some wind elemental creature. A four-legged, uh, bird of some sort. It should be a piece of cake with everyone's wind absorption. And as usual, I'm probably gonna cut most of this stuff out. So excuse me while I do that. And victory is now ours. The battle is a piece of cake. You just go all out nuts. Well, as long as everybody has uh, the elemental guard against either wind or absorption against wind. And we get 13 ability points, so a bunch of people learned many different things. Garland, tell me, what is it that you want to accomplish? The restoration of Terra, isn't it obvious? No, that's what the people of Terra want! Why aren't you asleep with the rest of them? I was created to oversee Terra. I exist to wait for a time when this world is without life or death. I am the absolute controller of this planet. Sure you are. We'll just see about that, you freaking lunatic. Okay, well... As usual, steal with Zidane, go all out nuts with everyone else. And finally, he's dying. Ugh. Jesus freaking Christ, this was a hard battle, and it was really freaking long. Unfortunately, not much of a strategy really goes into it. You fight well. Give it up, Garland! What the? Ha! 
<laughs> this is too easy. The Invincible is mine. Now I have all the power to control all souls. Garland gave me everything without a fight. The old fool was too busy dealing with him. Now only death awaits him. Poor Garland, bitten by his own dog. This is no accident. Fate has chosen me to become the new ruler of Terra. Time for me to put on the finishing touches. I guess we fell for it. Floating down like a freaking show off. I must say, I truly love you all. You not only broke the inverted seal to Terra, but you did me the favor of defeating Garland. Zidane, you are truly an extraordinary genome, deserving of my love. Uh, are you coming on to Zidane? What are you doing here, Kuja? And I totally have a thing for Garnett, so stop hitting on me. That's not a very nice way to greet your brother. Shut up, you're no brother of mine! Oh, such ferocity. Master Garland, he intends to fight Tara. Koja, what are you scheming? Scheming? Me? Watch me as I defeat these enemies of Tara. Come on now. You may sleep alongside the souls of Terra for all eternity. And we have yet another boss battle with no chance to switch equipment, no chance to heal up between the battles. Isn't that nice of the game? Isn't that nice of the game to do that? Isn't it? And look at that. Do you see this? Do you see this? <sighs> Well, it looks like we might just be screwed. The way that he uses magic is really weird. And there goes poor Aiko. So I'm gonna cut most of this stuff out. Just give me a moment. Okay, so the basic strategy here, now that I've healed everybody up, is you can attack, use your physical attacks, but do not use any magic whatsoever, or else he will counter with some even more nasty stuff than he is already using right now. And as usual, I'm gonna cut more stuff out because I know that it's really boring otherwise. You call that an attack? Whatever, we stole your ether, so shut up. Well, we won. Took forever. The, the time is now. Okay, well, I guess we didn't win because now... He is powering up. This is the power of trance. Well, that's just great. <laughs> Looks like we're screwed. I'll show you my true power. And there he goes off using Ultima. If any of you have played any of the other Final Fantasy games, you know that this is like the ultimate screw over. Like, like you can't beat that. Well, sucks to be us. Just like that, we lost. Yes, this is the power I've longed for. The mighty power of souls. They assault any threat that tries to destroy them. Wh what do you mean? It's trance. You know how it works. But a normal trance won't be enough to defeat you. You're all as resilient as Oglops. Even tiny Moogles possess the power of trance. When I saw that in Galug Volcano, I came up with a plan. It was easy. I just needed to borrow the power from wretched souls that can't die. Where did I acquire it? It was the Invincible. Or should I say, that large eyeball in the sky? The ship sucked up the souls of Madane Sari, the Lifetree, Alexandria, to feed upon them. 
When it fought Bahamut at the Lifea Tree, the Invincible drew in a powerful spirit. Can you guess to whom it belonged? Queen Bronze Soul, the soul of your mother. The souls trapped inside the Invincible welcomed me with open arms. They were fed up with being your prisoner's garland. Sorry if anybody heard that, that was my microphone. So, Master Garland, you are no longer needed. And after you worked so hard, I shall rule Terra and Gaia with my unconditional love from now on. What will you do with such power? Master Garland, you of all people should accept defeat gracefully. Ugh. How sad. Any last words? Your power is meaningless. Ah! Now it's your turn. Should I kill you quickly to show my appreciation for all you've done? Or should I kill you slowly and painfully to show you my love? Oh, I've got a great idea. How's this? I'll make you pillars for my castle. You'll all decorate my castle as a symbol of my eternal kingdom. How do you like that? No. Never. I don't know who this is. You could never build an eternal kingdom. That voice, Garland? Did you leave something behind? Do you think a defect like you could last forever? What? What do you mean? I built you to last only until the worthy genome, Zidane, grew. I was too dangerous to let you last any longer than that. What are you saying? There's a limit on your life. You'll be dead soon. Even as I die, you'll have died without ever leaving your mark on the world. <laughs> what an interesting lie. You're telling me that my life will end soon. <laughs> nice try, Garland, but I won't fall for your silly tricks. Garland? Garland, answer me. You were created to destroy. You are a mortal. A mortal? I'm finished? I don't believe you. Why would I believe such a silly story? You're telling me that I'll die soon, now that I'm a more powerful than anyone. I'm gonna... die? Lose my soul? <laughs> what comedy! Zidane, isn't it hilarious? I'll die just like the black mages I so despise. I single-handedly brought chaos unto Gaia, but in the end, I'm nothing but a worthless doll. Could ya? Could ya? I won't let it happen. I won't. I won't let this world exist without me. I can't believe him! 
Zidane, we must escape before the tower collapses. But how? We need to carry the injured out too. We must seize that ship. Kucha mentioned the Invincible. It's docked at the bottom of the tower. Oh yeah, but... Alright, you guys head for the ship. I'm gonna rescue the genomes. They're victims. I can't just abandon them. I'm coming with you. Dagger? I don't want you to leave us again. So I'll keep watch over you. Okay, we should be able to go back through the warp gate to the other tower. Dagger and I will head back to Bronval. You guys come get us on the Invincible. So it's just us and Dagger. So give me a moment as I readjust everyone's equipment again. Okay, and this episode has gone on long enough, so in the next one, we're gonna rescue everyone. Until then, have fun everyone.